Hi, my name is Amanda Hartman and I'm one of the speech pathologists here on the team at Assistive Wear and today we are looking at Proloquo for Text. So, you've started using Proloquo for Text and now you want to make it suit your needs. This video will give you some quick tips and tricks for how we can change the appearance of Proloquo for Text. Let's go and look at the app. To access appearance options, we need to go to the options cog on the top toolbar and then click on appearance options. And you will see all of the components of Prolo Quo for text where you can change how they look, in particular in relation to the font, the size and colors. But you can also make changes to the position or location of things within the app. Let's get started. We don't need to look at everything today, so feel free to come in and have a play yourself with the different settings and figure out what suits best. Firstly at the top we have the ability to use large icons. Turning this on will make all the icons and other tools such as the play button larger, which is great if you might have difficulty pressing or touching smaller icons. Next we can change how the text pad looks. Let's put a sentence into the text pad now so we can see how it changes as we customize it. So I'm going to insert I'd like to buy this and go back into my options. If I click on the font, it allows me to change the size of the font, the color of the font, and the font used within the text pad. By pressing on the I next to the font, I get the different variations on formats for that font. Let's choose a different font now. And here's how my text pad looks. Let's go back into options. Now you'll notice when we go back into options by pushing that cog, you can see that I'm in the menu where I last was. In this case, it was changing the font. So I need to back out of this menu to go back to my other appearance settings. So I just keep pushing back until I get back to my appearance settings. Next, in the full screen section, this allows me to decide what size the font will be when I go into full screen mode. So if I make it bigger here, like maybe up to 80, then when we are in full screen mode, which we do by pushing the full screen icon on the top toolbar, you can see that the larger font is used in this view. Go back to options and back out of full screen. Next is the background color of the text pad, which is currently set to sky blue. I can choose any color I like here. I do like the yellow, but let's go back to the default color for this presentation. The next appearance setting for the text pad is the controls. The controls are the play, revert and delete cross that by default are located or positioned at the bottom of the text pad. And in this section, you can move those controls to the top of the text pad. This may be useful for someone who has trouble hitting the controls accurately when they're in that bottom position because of their closeness to the keyboard and word prediction. So they may prefer them at the top. The next appearance setting is the speech in indicator, which is the small speaker button that appears when text is spoken. You can check it out to see what to do here. The last thing that we want to change or look at in the appearance of the text pad is related to text highlighting. The defaults are to highlight by word and in green. Let's see it. When I push play, I'd like to buy this. Each word is highlighted green as it is spoken. Let's go back into the options to change that. If I click on text highlight, you can see this is where I choose to have the text highlighted by word, which is the default. Or maybe we can highlight by sentence, where the whole sentence highlights as it is spoken. This may be more useful when reading back a block or paragraph of sentences. You can see I can also turn off highlighting here by ticking none. Let's choose word and go back so we can change the color of the text highlighting. I have all the color choices here, so I'll select one that suits me. 
and let's see how it looks. I'd like to buy this. When I press play, you can see the text highlighted in my chosen colour of pink. Alright, things are starting to look the way I want. I've made some colour and size choices and you can see how important this might be to work on to have the app appearance match needs and preferences. But what about the quick blocks on either side of the text pad? When we go back into options, you can see that we can change the appearance settings for each of the quick blocks listed here. Phrases, quick talk, conversation, history, word prediction and sentence prediction. For each of these blocks, we have three choices. To have it shown, turning it on or off, so that a user may choose to turn any quick block on or off. You can also choose the position of the block to be on the left or the right side of the text pad. And lastly, you can change the view type so that you can have your words listed or in a grid with buttons. They're a default set, but you can change any of this to suit. For example, by default, word prediction is turned off. And that's because word prediction currently appears above the keyboard in this white bar. For example, you can see word prediction working when I type in the letter W. However, if I have difficulty perhaps accessing this word prediction bar on my keyboard, then I can add it to the, to the side of the text pad as a quick block. So I go into my options and I choose word prediction. I'm going to uh, slide it to turn it on. You can see that it is positioned on the right. So when I go back to my message, if I tap through the quick blocks on the right side, you'll now see word prediction as an option. Back into options and we'll turn off word prediction for now and back out of there. But here are some more examples of changes you could make to the quick blocks. I might go to the phrases and decide to have them positioned on the right side. Now when I go back, I have my phrases over on this right side. Perhaps if I have difficulty pressing buttons on the left side of my iPad, I could change the position for all the quick blocks to be on the right side. But let's move it back to its original position and back out of there. Perhaps I want to turn a block off. Perhaps I don't want to see the history of things that I've said before. So I can click on this and turn it off. And now it's not there when I try and tap through my quick blocks on the right side. It might take time to get this right, but changes like this can really make a difference. After this list of quick blocks, you can make another appearance change. And this is changes to the font and the background color of the quick block. If I click on font, I can change the font used within the quick blocks. So I can change the size of it to make the text larger or smaller. I can change the color of the font. Back out and I can change the actual font that's been used in the quick blocks. Let's back out of that now. For my quick blocks, I can also change the background color. Okay, so I like how that looks, pink and blue. Let's back out and the very last thing that can be changed in the appearance settings is to do with the keyboard word prediction. And this applies to the white toolbar for word prediction that is directly above the keyboard. 
Firstly, this is where I can turn it off, which I might choose to do if I had decided to have word prediction in the quick block on the side as I demonstrated before. But let's leave word prediction on the keyboard turned on. But last, I can change the font of the word prediction above the keyboard. I can quickly change the size, the color, and the font used. Okay, let's see how these changes look when I go back and start typing. What are we doing? We will discuss more ways to customize word prediction in the e-learning video about setting up word prediction. If you need help with these appearance settings, you can scroll down to the bottom of the appearance section and press this blue link and it will take me directly to that section of the manual. This video was all about customizing the appearance of Proloquo for Text. Please check our website for more resources and videos to support you using Proloquo for Text. Thank you.